Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here, Genitory Solar. Just wanted to give you a quick update on a couple of things. First of all, I'm working on the inverters as fast as I can. I have not taken uh, any time off on working in these except for sleeping. And I'm not joking. Long days, trying to get them out. Um, we're, I'm doing the best that I can. It's just me by myself down here getting them built. Uh, getting some obvious questions on when my unit is going to ship and so on and some who thought they ordered on early on are surprised to hear that there's still plenty ahead of them and uh, we had a big rush uh, when the pre-orders opened so even if you got in real early you might actually be 10 12 15 in line um, unfortunately it's just the way that it is so I'm building them out as fast as I possibly can. Please be patient and don't forget to check your emails. Uh, don't forget to be checking your phone because I'm calling and emailing to verify addresses as well as the setup. I'm not going to ship an inverter until I hear back from you because some orders are nearly a year old. So things might have changed in that year. So I just want to be sure that it's getting sent to the right place. Already had one customer say that they had moved and forgot to contact me. So it's a good thing that I'm reaching out to everybody. Uh, so please, please be patient. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm, I have not rested at all. I'm working on these as fast as I possibly can. And obviously, uh, they're going out. Uh, fortunately, uh, the boxes, the shipping boxes that we chose, the, the company that we worked with, um, have protected the inverters that are getting out into the field now. Those who have both the 12Ks and the 6Ks uh, have had no complaints. So that's good. Um, I'm happy about that. And obviously, uh, we're happy that they're getting there. The, the true test was shipping one all the way to California, and it seemed to get there just fine. So uh, we're very happy with that. So uh, orders are going out again. It takes a long time. We we have a lot of stuff. There's a lot of labor involved in putting these together. Um, I think the misconception when I was showing some of the pre-built parts like the control boards was, oh, just throw some pieces in, connect it and go. And that's just not the case. There's a lot of labor involved. Putting all of the connectors on the front, that right there is about you know a 30 minute job. Just putting the connectors on the front. It's not like they just slide in and, and you're done because like the, the front uh, AC output connectors, they don't have to be trimmed back just right. They have to be slit. I mean, it's, it's a process. It's a long process. So everything adds up. Putting the, the main boards together means screwing in each and every single individual MOSFET. There's 44 MOSFETs in the big units. So again, it's all this stuff that adds up. You wouldn't think it would be, but it adds up. I'm basically able with doing my best, I'm basically able to get one of the big units done per day and about one and a half of the small units done per day. And that's my, you know, that's my good pace. I don't wanna rush things. I don't wanna make mistakes. I don't want there to be problems. So obviously I'm taking notes on some concerns that Sid will be able to address when he gets back. And hopefully we'll be able to get that fixed on the next order. But inverters so far, um, compliments from those who have their inverters. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned. Um, I will say I am going to do a more thorough video on the 6K as far as the, the testing details. I have completed my load testing, sound testing, wind testing. I've completed all of that. Just as a preview, this unit will handle the load at full 100% indefinitely, basically. You could say two hours at about 80% fan speed. So that means the fans are not even at full speed. The inverter is able to maintain a full 6,000 watts load and the fans are not even at full speed. The temperatures are right around 141 degrees on the transformer where the MOSFETs are basically ice cold. Uh, MOSFETs really don't don't have to work hard at all. Uh, I took it to 7,000 watts 
it was handling that for an hour without any major temperature increase and then I took it to 8,000 watts or thereabouts and it was about 15 minutes and then it eventually hit the red line and the temperature and shut down but this is a 6,000 watt inverter. Surge on the other hand uh, we still have some software tweaking to do with the 6,000 watt units. It will start the two and a half ton unit but it hits that current limiter a lot. So it sounds nasty when it's starting up and that's not a MOSFET problem, that's not an inverter struggling, that's just the software. So when Sid gets back from his vacation, which is probably about another week or so, uh, we'll be able to look at that, I'll be able to give him the data, we'll be able to tune up the current limiter because it's about it's about 16 kilowatts or so 16 17 kilowatts of a surge uh, for the two and a half ton air unit so we put these at a safe 18 kilowatts for startup so we just need to bump that up just a little bit and I think we'll be safe uh, for 18 kilowatts but uh, so far so good the, inver the inverter performed great the temperatures did start to rise, but that was because the room, two space heaters, you had the inverters running, full sun, charge controllers. This room heated up from about 76 degrees all the way up to well over 90 degrees in no time. So it's to be expected that as the ambient temperature increases, the temperature of the inverter is going to increase because the air going in is hotter. So it can't cool as much. It doesn't have as much cooling capacity, basically. Uh, so that's that's it. But... Running this for two hours at full load and it, it running at about 80% fan speed is great in my opinion. Uh, very good performer. I'm very happy with it. The only negative side of the 6 kilowatt inverter is it doesn't have, it has a higher resistance transformer. Smaller windings, smaller connectors, there's more resistance there. So the efficiency isn't as good as a 12,000 watt unit. The 12,000 watt unit, we're averaging about 90 to 92%. This is closer to 85%. It's not the end of the world, but just something to be aware of. You're going to be consuming a little bit more energy with the 6 kilowatt just because of the higher resistance transformer. Now, you might say, well, okay, why don't you just make the, the windings, um, you know, the same as those? Well, I mean, it's cost. It, it really it does come down to cost. So it'll cost significantly more money to wind a transformer with those windings on this inverter than it would if we leave it like it is. So, you know, and I inevitably you're going to get that question, well, can you wind one for me special so that, you know, I, I wish that we could. The whole reason we have a universal transformer so we don't have different SKUs and different models and we want it uh, one size fits all for everybody, basically. And uh, unfortunately, that means that this is going to be a little bit less efficient. Still good at about, like I said, 85%. I think I peaked out at 87 uh, on my chart. I think it was as low as 83. So it was about at 85%. Um, so, and that one is, you know, a little over 90% on average. So, again, it comes down to the transformer resistance. So more heat is lost in the transformer but still performs exceptionally well pure sine wave very happy with it i'm going to be doing some really detailed videos the issue is is that i'm trying my hardest to get all these inverters out i mean i literally wake up go straight to the basement work until i fall asleep and then wake up go straight to the basement i mean that's that's what it is that, that's literally my my day i'm trying to get everybody's out because some of you've been waiting upwards of a year you know, why would you wait while I'm taking the weekend off and enjoying myself? I'm trying to get these out as fast as possible. So it's just taking time. Please bear with me. Uh, when I get close to your order, you will start seeing me either calling you or emailing you or both. So make sure you're on top of that because uh, I want to make sure that I get everybody's orders out. Um, so just stay tuned to the channel. The 6 kilowatt inverter is performing excellent and I do really really like the results the 12 kilowatt inverter obviously this one is a pre-production unit but we're going on uh, five and a half megawatts of that's produced energy out of that inverter and it's been running for 3400 hours 
So, yeah, um, I don't know what that is, five months? But uh, it's obviously producing energy just fine. No problems. I'm not having any issues with that inverter. Which means you shouldn't either, because that's more of a Frankenstein inverter than the production units. So, uh, at any rate, we still have some left over. Uh, just get your order in as soon as possible, because when we're out, we're out. And we'll start looking at making another order that hopefully won't take as long, because we had a lot of delays, obviously. Samples had to be sent out, things like that. And so hopefully the next order won't take as long. Uh, but uh, they will eventually go to back order status, and then we'll do our best to get another order in. So at any rate, thanks again for all of your support. We do appreciate it. Again, stay tuned to videos. Sid, when he gets back, he'll be working on the new manual. So please be patient with that. That's a lot of work involved in the manual. Um, he's also going to be working on the, the parallel mode software. So we know it works in A and B, but C is completely different, and we have the CPU to CPU direct connection from the ports on the front. So it's going to take some software to be written in order to get that done right, but I will obviously be testing that. And when that's ready, we will be sending that out to our customers. We do have some multi-unit customers, uh, those who are wondering, obviously, when that's going to be available. So we'll do the best that we can to get that available. Uh, so again, stay tuned. I'm, I'm doing the best that I can. I, I really am. I'm trying to get these out as fast as possible. It's just me. So at any rate, thanks again for all of your support. We do appreciate it very, very much. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing those videos. I haven't seen one yet. And inverters have been in customers' hands for a week now. Some of them going back to the first one. So I'm hoping to see some videos on our inverters running or a setup or, or whatever. Really, really hoping. So, at any rate, thanks again for all of your support as always, and take care.